What's going on guys? Linus here. Uh, welcome back to Civilization 5. In the last part we played our trump card and we took out Assyria. Uh, well, most of them at least, in a pretty swift uh, strike. We took Athens, which used to belong to the Greeks, and we took Nimrod, which belongs to them. And we uh, puppeted them both. We are still dealing with a little bit of unhappiness right now. And hopefully we can get that back up, but we need to purchase a few buildings here and there to uh, sort of accommodate that. So let's see if we can make something that's good. Stonework, that will give me one happiness, I'll make that. And a Colosseum, there you go. And then as soon as possible I'll actually annex those cities and build a uh, courthouse, which will make them happy again. Also we've been focusing very much on our tourism, let me just adjust my mic here for a bit. We've been focusing a lot on tourism, and we are now very influential with the Carthaginians. Um, and we're steadily growing in both England and Poland. Assyria doesn't like me, but we're taking them out because they made the Louvre. Um, and that belongs to me, you can't just take that, no. That's, you know, that's too much. Also, in four more turns, we will have the Eiffel Tower. We will have Broadway, which will add no happiness, but a lot of culture and a free great musician. And we will also have Neuschwanstein, which will give us two happiness, and the Alpha Tower will give us five. So that will, you know, help us out. <clears throat> so, excuse me. Um, so there we are right now. I've been recording a lot today. Uh, game crashed a few times, but it's fine. I'm trying to just finish this game before I really head off to university. And uh, we're just, we're doing extremely well this game. I mean, people told me on the internet that basically the game got a whole lot tougher when Brave New World was released. So I thought, hey, let's play on Prince. Um, but I probably would have been able to play on King and do not just as well, but still maybe win the game. I don't know, but at least it will be nice to have, you know, our first game in Brave New World, just have that be a victory, that's a good thing. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. City Connection's been established, we are now making 500 gold per turn pretty much. Uh, but that's also because we are in a golden age, but still it's good, I like it. Give me that bonus versus cities, and let's just head on out there and start bombarding. Uh, Dur Sherikin with uh, with artillery. Let's get this party started. And also, like I said, we're going to make sure that he has no units left because we really need to uh, sort of step up our game and make sure that he is just completely gone. No more surprises like with England. Uh, and that is, then it will just be us and Dito, pretty much. The rest of them have been wiped out. We used to have um, the Greeks, obviously, and the British, but they're just kind of gone. They have been removed from this game. Let's get you all set up for a ranged attack. You actually, I would like to move you over there. Um, so here we go. This is uh, the setup that we're using with this. No, 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 no. Let's not go to war with Ur. They are my friend. I would like them to remain my friend. Um, what am I going to do with that general? I don't know. I'm actually not planning on fighting any more wars as soon as this is over. So I don't know. Let's get you over there. Billage that empty piece of land. Uh, Getling gun. Let's move everybody on somewhat over to Argos. And uh, let's get that party started. We got two artillery, but I'm feeling like we might need a little bit more. Let's see. Land surge. Go over there and pillage it for some health. There you go. And go over there. Uh, you go over there. Oh, that's a worker. What the f... Okay. Let's go over there. There will be no pillaging empty stuff, that makes sense. Um, let's see, yeah, let's just click next turn and wait what happens. Also, I changed the autosave um, setting, so it now autosaves every single turn. Which is great for me, because the game crashes a lot. I should have done that a long time ago, but I never actually took the time to do it. Um, so now basically I can, uh, you know, if the game crashes, I can just go back to that really easily with no problems. Uh, also, I'm looking forward to the World Congress to convene, because I said, um, let's do some international games or something like that. I don't really know what they're called. I think they're called the International Games. Before we had the World's Fair, and now that we're in a sort of a modern era, I think it's sort of an Olympics thing. It's the, uh, the International Games. And then there's England saying, hey, let's, uh, let's get rid of the arts funding. I'm not gonna actually do that. Um, and most people seem to actually want, um... Yeah, most people seem to want the international game, so that's a good thing for me. Let's just, you know, repeal her her thing. Let's just not do that. And um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. Let's kill that farm. Here we go. 
And let's have some people fire at Argos. Because it is the last city that belongs to the... The Assyrians. And I'm actually gonna take it. I will not liberate it. You know, if I were playing in a game where I wanted to win in a diplomatic way or something like that, you know, I probably would take, um, would actually liberate the city and give it back to the Greeks, but I'm trying to, uh, spread my tourism. I'm not trying to be a nice guy here, I'm trying to, to do stuff. Let's, uh, create an archaeological dig, and our general will be, why is, why would I make a citadel there? Just because it's empty, I guess, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, artillery, go over there. And let's have some artillery fire on the city. And I really want to take this now. It is their last city, actually, that is not a puppet. Because they puppeted at Athens a pretty long time ago. And they have no choice now but to make that the capital. And uh, I pretty much have that already. So let's create another puppet. I am unhappy again. But we're working on it. Let's make a stadium in York. Let's get that stupid unhappiness out of the way. Uh, but basically, we cleared the Assyrians from this side of the world. That's good. And they have one city left. As soon as that city's gone, the Assyrians will be dead. Unless somehow they sneaked a settler all the way over there, but... We can already see the borders. There cannot be a city over there, so this is really the last thing they have. See, they've got uh, nine points from city, so that's Athens, that's it. Oh, it's still a puppet. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's Argos that I was talking about. Yep, there you go. Uh, let's not do that right now. Let's just, um... Have you rest up. And do nothing. Really, I'm just gonna tell a lot of units right now to do nothing. Worker, yeah, you just go do your worker things. Because uh, you have no use for a worker in a frickin' war zone. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, next turn. Let's just see what happens. Argos. So I should be able to have two artillery fire at the city. And I really need that third one to sort of fire. But with the three Great War Infantry, I think we should be able to take it in the, the next turn. Finish off the Assyrians and then just spread my religion to the... Uh, well, not my religion, my uh, culture to the other people. My religion is already uh, pretty prevalent in the world. It's uh, It's been number one for a while now, I think. Let's take a look. Yep, I am number one. I've got lots of pressure, which is great. Uh, let's fire at Argos. Yep, let's do this. That guy will not be able to reach it, but he will. And then we can smoothly have this Great War Infantry swoop in and effectively just wipe the Assyrians from the game. You have bested my forces. Perhaps it was I that underestimated you. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's create another puppet. We are still unhappy, but at least we uh, dealt with that little war. Ashurbanipal is now gone. And I need to spread my tourism to only two more people. And I'm very close to doing just that. One of three. That's that's great. My people are content with my things. The public opinion of each civ is trekked. So I do not get any... Oh man, Carthage is just dealing with a revolutionary wave. They really want to join me instead. Now I believe that if your city is next to, in this scenario, the Carthaginians... You actually have a chance that they will join you, so their city will convert to your civilization uh, if they do not like their own ideology, which is very interesting. I think that was actually possible in... I played, um, what's it called? Civilization Revolution on the Xbox, and it had sort of the same mechanic. Now, I'm not sure if this was uh, something in Civ 4, because I just haven't played that enough, but I think it's pretty awesome, and it sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Um... What am I gonna do with this frickin' guy? Sure, it's make me Citadel right there. I don't really care anymore. Um, at this point, I can tell anybody, everybody to just settle down. Because we have effectively just conquered the entire continent and now belongs to me. And remember, I only started out with Lisbon, Porto, and Braga. And then I took the British. And then I started, I took Sparta and then I took all that, you know. That was, that was a cool journey. Journey? What? Journey. It was a cool journey. Great fun. I have 48 oil. Holy shit, that's a lot. Okay, cool, cool. So I can't wait until Ashurbanipal is wiped from the list. Um, I am still playing against Elizabeth, but she just has one unit sort of walking around somewhere. Uh, culture victory in reach. Alpha tower has been made. Electricity has been stolen. Broadway is done. 
The wor world's most wonderful people. I got 28 wonders. Casimir's got four. Dido's got two. Elizabeth has got zero because I stole everything that she owns. Uh, so there you go. So I only need to become influential with two more people, and that's actually, I'm really close to that. So the culture victory is, in fact, in reach. Um, we're happy again. That's a really nice thing, actually. Let's go with that. I just want some more happiness things being made. Military base will add one happiness, so let's just go with that. Uh, Colosseum, yes, please. I could really use that. A zoo. There we go. If all that is done, then I will pretty much be okay from the rest of the game, I think. Um... Because, you know, I'm just growing really, really fast. I think they're all really scared now. There's probably no way that they will allow me to go into their land. Hey, dude, what do you want for that? Come on, I'll give you open borders as well. Well, you're a little bitch. Now I definitely want to take your culture and eat it. Uh, so let's see, we got another piece of... Oh, wait. Yep, so that is the beautiful uh, Guangling Sun by uh, Ji Kang. I've never heard that before, ever. So, but then again, I'm not whatever they are. I'm, I want to say Chinese, but that maybe that's ignorant, so I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, Assyria Industrial, Greece, Beads. This museum is, is lacking. It needs to step it up. So we made bra- ooh, Nimrod's got the Louvre now, so he can actually put four things there. Two great works of art and two artifacts, with all four being from different eras and different civs. So, for example, let's see, we could get English, there you go. And those beads. And then we could get uh, Carthage Renaissance, we can get, uh, like, something like the Greece Ancient Era, that's not good. That could work. There you go. Giant theming bonus for Nimrod. We got it. Now, it's kind of a waste, the fact that it's in Nimrod, because that theming bonus doesn't help me right now. Uh, simply because Nimrod is... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's because it's a puppeted city. So you don't actually get the tourism yet. Which kind of sucks. Same era in Civ. Oh, come on. Portugal Modern. Assyria Industrial. Assyria Industrial. Portugal Modern. Well, there we go. We got two already. So we got Assyria Industrial, Assyria Industrial, and Portugal Industrial. Oh, come on. Two industrial. So we're missing one. Just a one piece of music we're missing. We need another great musician for that to work out. Uh, make me that dig, please. Hurry that up. Uh, yep, you can just do your thing. It's pretty much settled already. I mean, I've got over 200 tourism. And as soon as I convert Nimrod to my uh, to my side, basically by, by unpuppeting it... That's not even a word, but I don't really care. Um... Ooh, Portuguese work of art. That is exactly what I was looking for. It's not made by a, by a um, Portuguese breastplate. What the f- okay. Portugal Renaissance. That- I need music. I forgot about that for a sec. Um, see, that gives me a little bonus in Porto. That's good. Uh, it's only one, though. Greece, Ancient Era, Syria, Classical... It's all sort of the different things. Um, yeah, whatever. We've got enough tourism. Like, uh, the theming bonus will maybe speed it up by a turn or two, but... In the end, we're already winning. So there's no need for us to really trip balls over it. Neuschwanstein is almost done. And we have massive pressure in Braga. Even more so in Porto, wow. My religion is really, uh... Wow. My, uh, okay, my influence fell in Sedan. But they're still my allies, so suck it. Look at that, look at my score with them, that's great. Got over a hundred. Um, here we go. Future policies will be a little bit cheaper. Finished a uh, third tree. And also, this is great. Uh, it doubles the theming bonuses we receive from Museums and Wonders. And now we can um, actually purchase things, um, such as great artists, with faith. It's awesome. I love it. So let's check this out. You need to chill, dude. Just chill. It's no longer needed. Lisbon, purchase a great musician, which is what I need. 
one more work of Portuguese music in the modern era, and we are good to go. I think this game will actually be over a lot sooner than I was expecting. Man, this because this game took pretty long. Normally these games take about, I don't know, 20 to 25 videos, but I felt like this was headed uh, towards a very different direction, but... I mean, there's still a lot of turns to go, but we're probably gonna finish it pretty soon. Neuschwanstein. Oh, yeah. I think that gave me a giant boost. Uh, yeah, I like that. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Make me music, sucker. Oh, yeah. Man, that was a really nice piece of music. I think I've heard that one before. I mean, I live in Europe, so obviously I would not have heard a lot of that sort of uh, Asian music, but the um, the European music and some Russian music, I think I've heard that before. Um, so let's take a look. We got a theme one as a six now. I mean, that's a giant improvement right there. We got eight in Nimrod, so we really need that. World's most visited museum. And we just got the... Where did you go, you son of a gun? Where'd it go? Where'd that piece of music go? Oh, here you go. Portugal Modern Era. Ba Boom! Six bonus in Porto. That's another massive improvement. So we're very, very close to becoming influential with the Polish and the English are also uh, quite close. So I'm just going to hit uh, next turn a couple of times and just see what happens because I really don't need to take any action. Uh, I think at this point I just need to wait and sort of see what happens. Also, I'm getting a buttload of culture now. I don't know why, though. Maybe it's Broadway. Okay, each gold gift. Ooh, okay. So I can become friends with them if I want to. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. Am I already friends with Buenos Aires or not? Yes, I am. I'll just give him, like, 500. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. See ya. See ya. Jesus. Um, yep. Go to sleep. Your services are no longer needed. Um, Carthago Nova, that is a buttload of money. Um, but I'm already influential with them, so let's trade with the Polish and just sort of get my influence there a little bit higher uh, through that. And let's make a, an arsenal. That will improve the happiness slightly. Uh, stadium? The Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I think we already made the Eiffel Tower. So that's good. We are, uh, I mean, there's no way we're going to lose anymore. It's just impossible now. I mean, even if... Dido decides to go for a science victory. We can beat her there. Um, I don't know if there's still a diplomatic victory. Or is it... No, this, this is cultural. Tourism is the new cultural victory. Maybe there's still a UN. I don't really know, but I'm sure that, you know, we can win that because we have buttloads of money and we can basically bribe every city-state. Florence is looking for friends. Hey, dude. I can be your friend here. I have a thousand goldies. Friends forever. Uh, zoo? Yes, please. Let's make a factory in Sparta, because why the hell not? I've got buttloads of coal. Buttloads of everything, basically. A Syrian artifact, yes. So that will give us a... Beads. I think it's the beads. Let's see if we can combine that for a little... Bonus. There you go. That's a four bonus. That's good. Ancient World Warfare. Um... Let's see, this could be moved to that. That would be a major improvement. Well, it wouldn't really matter that much, but it would just... I don't know, it's nicer, I guess. Sort of combining it all in one place. This is better. This is what I like seeing. We've got theming bonuses pretty much everywhere. Uh, Portuguese Breastplate and Portuguese View of Toledo. I would prefer putting this in Lisbon. Bam! There you go. We are... I think next turn we should be influential. Oh, uh, whatever. Nobody cares about you. You're nobody. It's cool. I was hoping, actually, that your your sort of um, influence would improve or your relations with a sieve if you had a very strong culture there. For example, the American culture is obviously sort of spreading across the world right now. And a lot of people are really... They sort of suck up to America or they look up to them, whatever you want to call it. Any man who can drive safely while kissing a pretty girl Combustion. So I was sort of hoping that they would do the uh, the same thing. 
Statue of Liberty, yeah, good luck with that. So we're now influential with um, Poland as well. England's the last one, and we are very close to that. Look at that. So this is basically their culture that they've saved up, and I think the challenge is to overtake their culture with your lifetime tourism as a percentage of target Civ's lifetime culture. So if you overtake their uh, culture with your tourism, you become influential over there because you've got more tourism than they've got culture. I mean, that sort of makes sense. Then again, it could be really annoying if a certain Civ actually has a lot of culture output and you want to take them over, but you can't because, you know, t tourism is, I think, a little bit harder to get than um, the other stuff. Prora. Sure, let's go with that. That's going to give me some happiness. Um... Sadly, I cannot trade with the British, or that would have made my life a little bit easier. Let's go with that. That will put us well over the 500 uh, gold mark. If I had four more trade routes, I'm pretty sure I should be able to hit the... Uh, yeah, I know. You don't like my culture. Suck it. I'm pretty sure that if we actually filled up our, our trade route slots, we would be well over 600. So that's sweet. That's a good amount. Losing grasp on Hong Kong. So the international games are coming up. I am pretty sure that we're going to get to vote uh, before I actually win. I've got 36 great work slots filled. I mean, that's a lot right there. Upcoming sesh. Got it. Uh, let's get an arsenal. That will improve the happiness slightly. 84.8. Uh, 80, uh, we're very close. Uh, I'm going to end the video here, guys. I've been going for well over 20 minutes, I believe. Uh, I think in the next part that we will finish this game. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this part. I know I sure did. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.